This is a typical problem in forces and reactions analysis. What you have here is a body of mass 120 Newton, resting on two planes or supported by two planes and one of the plane is inclined at an angle 60 degree to the horizontal and the other is inclined at 30 degree to the horizontal. So you will have two reactions at A and C against the mass of the body. So in order to analyze this problem, we need the free body diagram to be created as shown here. So you have your body, mass 120 acting downwards and your reactions at C and A shown with lines. So for finding out the reactions at A and C, we need to apply the equilibrium conditions of forces into this case. So if you analyze the figure, you can see the, the mass of the body is vertically acting downwards and therefore there will not be any horizontal component for this force. But the reactions at A and C are acting at an angle to the horizontal which is other than 90 degree. So you will have components for these two forces in the horizontal direction that is shown here. If you complete the right triangle for the reaction at C, RC, you can see this is the horizontal component which is acting in the positive x direction and this is the vertical component which is acting in the positive y direction. And for the reaction at A, this is the horizontal component acting in the negative x direction and this is the vertical component acting in the positive y direction. So initially applying the summation of forces in x direction is equal to zero into this problem, we have these two forces, some of these two forces should be zero because these are the only two horizontal forces in this case. And you know this is a positive force and this is a negative force because this is in the positive x direction and this one is acting in the negative x direction. So, so from the, uh, from the uh, uh, conditions of equilibrium, we can say summation of forces in x direction is equal to zero and that is RC cos 60 minus RA cos 30 is zero. RC cos 60 is the horizontal component of RC and RA cos 30 is the horizontal component of RA. So if you have any doubts in finding out these angles, you just consider this again. This is your plane, which is at 30 degree. So just draw a perpendicular to that and to complete this right triangle here. So you have 90 degree here, 30 degree here, and therefore this will be 60 degree. And again here, just draw a perpendicular to this plane. And so you have 90 degree here, 60 degree here, and therefore this will be 30. So you have 60 here and 30 here, which is shown here 60 and 30. So this will be RC cos 60 and this will be RA cos 30. So summation of these two will be zero. That is shown here and from this equation you get RC is 1.732 RA. Keep this here for the time being and then apply the vertical equilibrium condition into the case. So summation of forces in y direction is zero and you know there are three forces in the vertical direction. One, the mass of the body which is acting downwards. Two, the vertical component of reaction at C, RC, which is acting upward. And three, the vertical component of RA, which again is acting upward. So the vertical component of both reactions are acting upward, whereas the mass of the body is acting downwards. We know the upward forces are considered positive and the downward force, uh, forces are considered negative. So applying the equilibrium condition, you have minus 120 plus RC sine 60 plus RA sine 30 is equal to zero. You know RC is 1.732 RA. So substitute for RC in here and take 120 to the other side of the equation. You have 1.732 RA, which is RC into sine 60 plus RA sine 30 is equal to 120. The 120 is taken to the other side of the equation and take RA common from 
the left hand side of the equation you have ra into 1.732 sin 60 plus sin 30 is 120 and solving the, this equation you will get ra is equal to 60 newton and therefore rc will be 1.732 into 60 that is 103.92 newton Practice this pro pro problem again and again and try if there is any doubts arising.